Without showing you any confidential information, I could just show you the dashboard um, real quickly of um, Mimbeam, just so you can see kind of what it looks like. And so there are my classes. Um, you can transfer a student if you have one or drop a student. Um, you can look up any kind of word or root. And then the one you are going to probably use the most often, resetting a student's password. Um, so they make it, everything's really user friendly. And, um, you know, um, when, once you get in, it's all personalized by students. You know, you can see everything they've done every single day, how long they've spent on each word. Um, if they have doubtful minutes, dubious minutes that they are not engaged, um, you can see their accuracy. You can see how long they spent reviewing words that they missed. It is very inf informative about how they're spending their time while they're on there. Um, so I really am enjoying this program and I think it's something that I'm going to continue to use. Um, and uh, just because vocabulary is something that is so personalized, kids are all over the place as far as where they are um, in their vocabulary development. And this meets them right where they're at um, and can track their progress and they can see that daily. So I love um, how much this incorporates blended and personalized learning. In seventh grade, so let me look at the seventh grade test and see kind of if I, if I can make some sense out of that. So I looked at the seventh grade test and what I found there was you did better across the board in seventh grade. Um, and of course you didn't take a test last year because of COVID. So this is our last data that we actually had. Um, this one's the lowest one, but it's still not very low. Like they're all, you were performing a lot more consistently across. So what I was wondering is, you know, if reading comprehension is somehow um, with vocabulary, you know, like if the vocabulary on the test sometimes causes problems for you. What do you think about that? I mean, I think it does, because I guess I just have to go to the more like detailed. Okay, so um, more explanation sometimes helps um, for that. So this is kind of where I thought, okay, well maybe some vocabulary um, intervention would maybe help um, sort of get you a little bit higher on all of them since it sort of depends on the year on what year, um, which ones come easier. And sometimes that's just, you know, the selections they happen to give you on the test, right? Like. Sometimes they're interesting and sometimes they're really, really boring, right? So um, let's look at what you've put down for your SMART goals. So what did you put down um, for your goal? To raise my accuracy by 10 or 5 points. Okay. Um, and um, is that going to be a measurable goal? Yes. How are you going to know that the, how can we measure that goal? To, to see what Mimbi says. Okay. The accuracy. So it tells you, it'll yes. tell you daily what your accuracy is. Um, do you think that's a t an attainable goal? Will you be able to get to that goal? Yes, by practicing every day of the week. Okay, and is this a relevant goal for you, do you think? Like, will you use this? Yeah, like having, I guess because sometimes I don't use things in the right way. Mm -hmm. So like having better grammar and using these words more intelligently. Okay. And um, how long will you, do you think it'll take you to raise your accuracy by that amount? A week. Okay, very good. Um, those are excellent goals. So I'm going to stop the video right there and we'll come back at the, after we've tried this. We, um, this day you didn't even miss any. So we might have to look at another day to see, you know, the time restudying the words. But if the more time you spend on a word, the more likely you are to get the question right. Um, or at least that's what I'm seeing from, from your data. Did you have anything you wanted to look at to see, um, to see anything else for your own goals? Okay, do you want to look at your test and see um, how that went? Yeah. Okay, so your test that we took on Friday, um, let me see here for just a second. Let me go back to the dashboard and then we're going to go to the assessments. Okay. Alrighty. 
So we're going to look at your test and it'll show me your questions, right? The one thing I did notice is that the the SATA questions, the select all that apply, yeah. those are the hard ones, right? What do you think is it uh, about those that makes those so hard? I guess sometimes I overthink it and think it's like more than one question. Mm -hmm. So like it's like three. Right, because you think yeah. there's no way all of them could be. Yeah. Or oh, on that one you picked three and it was really only one. But then sometimes it's the opposite way, right? And mm -hmm. like all of them are there. Um, but you got this one right. Um, so that one must have been a word that you were very familiar with. So um, next time, if we do this again, um, I'm going to put fewer SATA questions on there because I don't want the question style to be the problem, right? Like, I don't want it to just be a confusing question. I want it to really be testing if you know the words or not, right? So I will do that because I think that's going to help because the only one that you really missed that wasn't an SATA question was this one right here. Um, and so, I mean, we can go back and say like, how many times have we seen these words? Is this something we need to spend more time on those particular words? But overall, um, I was pleased with your score because you had um, a passing score um, for this assessment. And so I felt pretty pleased with that. How did you feel about that? I felt good. Feel pretty good about yeah. that? Okay. Um, and honestly, like even your assessment um, was higher than a lot of your accuracy days. Like you, your accuracy has been improving, but your assessment is even higher than your average for your accuracy. So you tested really, really well. Um, so uh, I think, you know, you should pat yourself on the back. You met your goal for last week, right? <laughs> so um, did you have any questions or comments about this? Nope. Okay. Well, thank you so much for, for helping me, and um, I hope that it was a good experience for you. Yes, it was.